so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to show you how you can make this old wooden bucket using the blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and make sure guys you watch this tutorial till end because in the end of this video i will show you how you can make this mud effect so using the nodes so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial so first of all guys we'll create uh, this wooden bucket so for making this bucket i'm just going to delete everything except this camera so i just press the delete okay so for making this bucket i will set this uh, 3d cursor as a world origin something like that and uh, then i will add one cube here and going to scale it first of all something like that okay you can give any kind of thickness whatever thickness you need so i think right now that's fine to me so make sure you apply the scale before doing anything and now i'm just going to rotate it 90 degree okay yeah something like that and then i'm just going to keep this upside and uh, if you want to increase the thickness so right now i'm just going to increase the thickness a little bit more i think that's fine and make sure you apply the scale and now i will go to the top view and then i will go to the edit mode of this cube and select everything pressing the a so then i will keep beside this uh, cube from his origin something like that okay so after that i'm going to exit this edit mode and then i will do a copy and rotation so for that i will do shift d for copy here you can see and now i will set press the r for the rotation and here you can see now it's rotating from this origin and now i'm just going to keep it uh, here and then i will press the shift r for the repeat command and here you can see we have a perfect circle here okay something like that and after that i'm just going to the front view and after that you can select everything pressing the a and make sure you enable this your uh, x-ray then go to the edit mode and if you want to scale little bit all the planks so you can do something like that and i think that look good to me yeah so then i will add one cylinder here so first of all i'm just going to add one cylinder yeah so now i'm just going to scale this cylinder i'm just going to hide everything except this cylinder first of all yeah then i'm just going to scale it and then i will go to the edit mode this cylinder select the top and bottom face and then do insert pressing the i and then delete both faces then select the both edges and do right click and here you will see the bridge as loop just click on it so you will find something like that then you have to unhide everything and after that you can uh, scale this thing a little bit and then you can keep it upside something like that and uh, you can take and you can take one copy also something like that okay so after making this then i will make a bottom part so for making this bottom part i will take again one cylinder and again i will hide everything except this cylinder then i will select uh, one face of this cylinder and do control i for invert selection then i will delete everything okay so after that i'm just going to set this origin as a geometry something like that okay so after that i'm just going to the uh, vertex mode and then i will go to the top view and then i'm just going to select the one vertex here to here and then then i will press the j for join and then i will do uh, this command repeat pressing the shift r so after making those edges you can select all edges pressing the uh, 2 and then a okay so after that i'm just going to bevel those edges pressing the control b something like that and then i will press the 3 for the face mode then i will press the delete and right now i will delete the faces uh, so now we have a uh, that kind of shape okay so after that i will uh, again select the all faces then i will press the e for the extrude and i'm just going to extrude it something like that so now i'm just going to unhide everything and then i will select this one and keep it here now i'm just going to scale it little bit so here you can see now we have a perfect base of the that uh, wooden bucket okay so after that i will create uh, one handle for this 
but before creating the handle so right now i'm just going to uh, give some deformation of these planks so for that i'm just going to select all the planks and after selecting the all plank you can go to the edit mode make sure at least you add the one edge every plank so i'm just going to add so after adding the edge you can uh, do manually some deformation okay and uh, you can do whatever you uh, whatever you, so you can do by yours for uh, okay right now so right now i'm just going to do and you can do by yourself uh, uh, whatever kind of uh, deformation you need you can just uh, do by yourself so i'm just going to do very quickly okay so after complete the all deformation i'm just going to make a one handle so for making this handle i will go to the, the front view and after that i will add one uh, plane here so going to change the line as a view okay then i'm just going to keep this plane here and going to scale little bit something like that and first of all i'm just going to scale something like that so i think that look fine to me okay so after that i'm just going to the edit mode of this plane and going to select this uh, face and going to delete only faces so here you can see now we have only edge so i'm just going to select the those uh, edges and so after that i'm just going to bevel those vertices so for doing bevel those vertices i'm pressing the control shift b and here you can see now i can bevel those edges something like that and uh, then i will um, bevel also bottom side of edges so for that i'm just going to hide everything okay and then i will do again sh control shift b and right now i'm just going to decrease the number of cards so i think that's look fine to me okay so after happening this so after that you can go to the here the object settings and then you have to change the uh, then you have to convert this uh edge to the curve and when you convert this edge into the curve you can unhide everything first of all and then you can select this curve and go to the, the curve settings and from here you can change the depth so right now i'm just going to change the depth something like that i think that look good to me okay and if you want to scale this handle you can scale little bit upside something like that i think that look cool to me yeah okay and from here you can define how much thickness you need so i think six fine to me and now i'm just going to keep it upside little bit that's look good okay and now you can define the resolution from here as well and you can do uh, after convert this uh, curve into the mesh and after you can subdivision modify uh, so it's depend on you okay so right now i'm just going to keep this uh, resolution by default and going to again the object settings and here i will again convert this to the mesh and right now here you can see now we have a perfect mesh here and after that i'm just going to uh, select those faces i'm just going to select those faces okay here you can see and then i will press the uh, alt e here you will see uh, we have our option is extrude faces along the normals so here you can see i'm just going to extrude it something like that okay and now you can add the subdivision modifier pressing the control 2 and then you can you have to add the some supporting edge loop to make those edges sharp and then you can select the uh, both of those edges then you can do bevel and you can decrease the uh, number of cut of bevel and here you can see it look good now and now you can uh, do shared smooth also so now i will uh, set this origin point to here so for that first of all i'm just going to add the one uh, edge loop here and then i will do shift s and here i will set the cursor to the selected so here you can see that cursor is automatic come here and then i can change this origin to the 3d cursor okay and now i will uh, rotate this so it will rotate perfectly from the here 
okay so now I'm just going to keep it uh, here something like that yeah it's looking good okay then after that uh, I'm just going to uh, add the hole of both side of uh, planks so for that I'm just going to add the bullion on those plank adding the bullion and select the object this one the sender and then I will go to the apply and same thing I will do here so here you can see when I will move this handle so here we have a holes so what we have to do now I'm just going to select the both planks and going to uh, hide everything except those then I will go to the edit mode of those uh, plank and select this x-ray mode and select those edges okay something like that then I will exit the edit mode and unhiding everything and I'm just going to switch off the x-ray mode then I will select again both of them then I will go to the edit mode and after that I will change the origin as an individual and now I can scale it little bit something like that okay here you can see our wooden bucket is almost ready so now I will add some uh, shader on those planks so I have already made some shaders so what I will do so after that I am just going to select uh, one plank and then I will add one material on here then after that I will select some alternate planks something like that okay and then you will select the last one where we have already add the material then I will do control L and the link as a material so same thing I will do with the other one then I will select one material and I will select some alternate uh, object then I will select the last one then I will do control L and same thing I will repeat to the other also so here you can see guys we have a shader in all the planks and if you want to see what kind of shader I have used basically this is only a principal BSDF okay and this is a basic normal I just change the color I will go to again the layout section and I will add the material on this uh, iron part as well so for that I'm just going to make a new material then I will uh, increase the metallic value something like that and right now I'm just going to change the color little bit gray okay and then I will link this one so select this one to this one then I will do uh, material okay and first of all I'm just going to add the bevel on this part and this part as well okay and, and I will also add the material on this uh, handle part so for that I will do again uh, click on new material change a little bit color and just increase the metallic value and right now I'm just going to change the color as a little bit brownish and going to do little dark yeah something like that okay I think I should also change this color yeah, it look cool to me now okay guys and then uh, I will add the also material on this part yeah so then I will go to my shading panel and from here I will choose the this iron part and now I will add one uh, noise texture okay and after that I will add one uh, color ramp and then I will uh, connect this noise texture to here and this one I will add the on roughness part so here you can see right now it's looking something like that so first of all we have to change the scale value okay and we have to change the detailing as well and we can do 3d we can change the distortion and from here we can define how much we need it okay see it's looking fine to me now okay so here you can see our uh, wooden bucket is ready uh, so I told in the beginning of this video I will show you um, uh, how you can create the mud uh, using the nodes so for that I will mean, I'm just going to uh, add one plane here first of all okay I'm going to scale it and then I will go to the, the shading panel from here I will make a new node and first of all I'm just going to change the color to the brown something like that then I will add the noise texture okay and then I will add the uh, color ramp something like that I will plug this uh, FAC to FAC then I will uh, plug this color to the displacement 
something like that so here you can see now we have a, a displacement value we can define from here okay here you can see and then I will copy this one and uh, plug this one to here and after that I will add on the roughness note on here so here you can see now we can control the roughness from here as well okay and then I will add one uh, displacement node displacement node and I will keep it here so I will change the normal to the material level we can change the height as well yeah on the height so here you can see right now it look like something like that so first of all we have to change the detailing value so when I will uh, increase the detailing data so it will look like something like that then I will going to scale it okay here you can see now we have uh, some kind of mod effect okay if you increase the distortion here you can see it will look like something like that so I'm just keep this distortion to zero okay and you can increase the decrease the detailing by the way so I think that detailing is looking fine to me okay and then uh, you can uh, adjust the roughness from here so I think that's look fine to me and if you want to uh, scale this hide value so you can scale from here and if you will plug this one to it mid level so now you have a height node you can define from the here as well but I'm just going to keep it as a default okay we don't need it and uh, here you can see that's how we can create a that kind of uh, mud effect as well I have changed some color here and uh, I changed some values okay and if you want to copy these values so you can copy from the here and right now I'm just going to take one render so for taking the render first of all I'm just going to define one camera view before adding the camera I'm just going to add the liquid inside this bucket so for that I will uh, use the cylinder okay and then I'm just going to add the wave modifier and then I will add the uh, one shader on it this is a very basic shader okay I have just uh, add the roughness value okay and after that I'm just going to add the one camera view so I think that's look cool to me and now I'm just going to add the SDRI okay and if I will take the render wait a second So if I will take the render so here you can see so here you can see now we have a perfect wooden bucket and that's how you can make this uh, wooden bucket using the blender and, and I have already show you how you can make this mud also okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any suggestion please let me know in the comment box I would definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys